This cake. This cake Allison made. It's lit. Okay, so today's video is being brought to you by my dog's chew toy. No, seriously. The other day I got on here and I was like, you guys, it's a constant battle for your soul. So there's always going to be something that comes up. It's always going to be something, 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 something. Why was I... Why was I preaching to myself and I wasn't ready? Why was I preaching to myself and I was not ready? So, how about the enemy threw a bunch of mind games at me this week? Well, yeah, not even a bunch. It's just one because um, he knows where my little soft spot is. He knows where there's a wedge where he can get in there and, like, Pop, pop, pop things loose. You ever been to it? Like, you women, y'all know because you've been to the nail shop before. And you know, when they're taking your nails off, I'm gonna ask you, don't judge me. They like get right in between, like where there's like a little slight um, space there, and they take that nail and they're like, swoop, pop, pops it off. You know what I mean? So, at this point, on this particular day, I was already in an emotional space. And you got some people that are like, Y'all familiar with the retrograde situation? Like, we in that, whatever. So, um, some of that stuff is probably affecting some people. <clears throat> and so, what happened was the enemy was like, yeah, I know this going to bother her. But this going to really bother her. Let me, let me just wedge my way on in there. So, I wasn't ready. So, I had all these great things that were going on all throughout the beginning of the week. And I was in this great space to which I was like, you know what? I, I need to get back out here and keep doing what makes me happy. And encouraging other people is one of the things that makes me happy. And so now I'm seeing it for what it is. And I was, I was in my Bible and I was reading some. And I was doing some self-love and some self-healing. And... um. And by Thursday, the devil was like, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to let all this pop off, okay? We're not going to have it. So cut that out. Let's let's deter your focus. Let's, let's switch things up. So from within the storm is like, that's like my right now series that I got going on, I guess. Probably change it to within the battle, within, within the the fight because oh my goodness that that's what i told y'all it was the other day and a lot of people are familiar with the whole term spiritual warfare but this is how it goes so spirits can't be seen um most of the time so things are coming to me through the social media and um and children and things that you don't want to you don't want to look at as being potentially being a bad source okay so the little things were being nitpicked and nitpicked and so they literally were weaving up and crocheting up this super thick blanket that was thrown over my head and I then began to lose focus on, like, the good things because I was putting myself in a darkness. All right. So inside this darkness festered a bunch of anger and frustration. And so I decided to handle one of my situations in that, and I should not have it. True enough, in the Bible, it does tell you, and I can't think of what scripture it is. I have to look it up and tell you that when you have a problem with someone, you're supposed to go to them and tell them. So then if they don't listen, you're supposed to go back again with um, um, with someone else, with a witness. And like, so when I look back at it, I play that out correctly, but um, everything else is probably supposed to follow after that or maybe some of the steps in between. I may not have focused on too well, but I am a person who when things bother me, I feel like I should not wait and and do all of that so i was like no let's just get straight to the bottom of this but this comes along as a distraction right after i've been asked to do some really cool things this week and after i've had these full circle moments where i spent time at schools that i used to go to as a child and had this this 
amazing opportunity. I was all excited and happy and that's what happens. It's like he can't stand to see you excited and happy. He can't stand to hear you encouraging others because while I was there, I was encouraging other children, other people who were a lot like me, nervous or self-conscious or lacking confidence. And even as an adult, I still lack confidence in a lot of things. And I was telling these children it's important for them to not lack confidence because confidence is key to everything in life that it, that is it people will not have talent but can have a little bit of confidence and i'm telling you the things that can be done when you're confident so i literally been preaching these things to people and not realizing that god was using them to minister to me that's what's happening. So every time you make a mistake, that's okay. It's what you do the next time to make it better that matters. So yeah, I just wanted to share a little bit with you guys to let you know that there will be some times when you fall short. And there will be some times when you don't do what your best. You don't, you just simply do not do your best. And when you recognize it, you have to not beat yourself up about it. Because I did that for a whole day afterwards. Like, oh, I just feel terrible. And then guess what? The enemy brought something else. I'm going to refuel the whole thing all over again. Because it didn't go the way he had planned for it to go two days before. So, be, be aware that it is warfare. It is not going to stop. And me claiming this and saying this is definitely going to be another cause so i have to be extra prepared so can y'all keep me in your prayers your good prayers please and um i'll see you on the next video